And uh, to close this show out, we all, um, it's kind of tough. Uh, yesterday, we all heard the terrible news as Stuart Scott, a longtime anchor at ESPN, uh, died Sunday morning at the age of 49. Uh, he inspired so many people with his sheer talent and his work ethic and his devotion to his daughters, Taylor, 19 years old, and Sydney, 15. He def- defied convention and criticism to bring this network into a new century. And he spoke to very ath- uh, spoke to very athletes. Uh, he was talking about with a flair and style that ESPN president John Skipper says, quote, changed everything. Scott was remembered through uh, an outpouring of tributes by athletes, colleagues, fans on Twitter and statements from his alma mater of the University of North Carolina, which said, quote, his legacy will live on in many ways as a friend, as a son, as a father, a professional and forever a Tar Heel and even President Barack Obama saying, quote, I will miss Stuart Scott. 20 years ago, Stu helped usher in a new way to talk about our favorite teams and the day's best plays for those 20 years, public service and campaigns have kept me f- from my family. But wherever I went, I could flip on the TV and Stu and his colleagues on SportsCenter were there. Over the years, he entertained us. And in, in the end, he inspired us with courage and love. Michelle and I offer our thoughts and prayers with, to his family, friends and colleagues, the president said. At the SBs on July 16th, shortly before his 49th birthday and following another round of cancer surgery, Stuart Scott accepted the Jimmy V Award for Perseverance with Strength, Humor, and Grace. And these eloquent words, quote, When you die, it does not mean that you lose to cancer. It means you beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and in a matter of which you live. Um... I'm not going to lie. I did share a few tears uh, last night uh, watching some of the sports center stuff and what they did. And even now, it's kind of tough. I Obviously, I've never met Stuart Scott, but watching him, he was a, a huge inspiration to see what he did. Um, and, you know, just uh, the way he did things and, uh, the I don't know, just the way... He presented himself out there and just how he made it so exciting uh, for all of us, especially younger people. You know, I remember always when I was going to school, you know, waking up in the morning, you know, my mom and my dad would turn on uh, ESPN, you know, as I got ready and ate breakfast and stuff. And I would always hear him, you know, do the the top 10 plays or whatever happened um, or just talking, you know, sports, whatever. And. It was just always fun, and out of all the Sports Center people out, or all the ESPN people out there, he was always the main one that stuck, and I think everybody knew and liked. Um, and it was just, you know, I don't know, something about this just, you know, really did get to me, and it sucks that it had to be Star- uh, Stuart Scott. Um, but you know, I, I we all know he's in better place, and if, if we all could just have, you know, on this show a moment of silence and. Just pray for his daughters and his family. And I can't say it better than Stuart Scott, but booyah. And everybody on the show, stay as cool as the other side of the pillow. I'll see you guys next Monday.